here's the Peak Design shoe pouch and utilizing the two ends I have added on a strap or a sling so one side has a little carabiner latch thing the other side is just looped through and this enables you to carry the bag cross sling or however you like around your neck with a figure of eight here and a prusik knot on the other side it can be extended so depending on your body length and what you're carrying if you pull on the prusik and the carabiner side it holds however if you pull on the knot it extends nicely and extends to whatever length you want to use it at when you want to store it all you got to do is pull it to the end take out the clip and let's tuck it all in so what I like to do is keep it so that the rope is last to go in and then I will just alternate the rope squash it in squash it in and with the last bits sticking out and the carabiner there just slip that on to secure it and the carabiner serves as a good way to hang it on your person while you are out shopping walking the dog I don't know there you have it simple way to hang your Peak Design shoe pouch so let me go through how to tie the knot it's quite simple we'll take it all out again so to deploy it's really si simple get it out carabiner to the other end and your bag is ready to go okay a figure of eight on a carabiner or something that should be simple enough you can google that and the prusik now let me take this out i'll speed this part up so this is what we have we have the carabiner on a figure of eight at one side and your loose end loose end goes through the other loop doesn't matter which way Take your main line and we will tie the knot on this. Loose end comes over the main line, goes around once and twice, comes over itself, and now we go under. Under once, now we've created a loop here. We go into it one time, and again, and this time. Pull it together with its original line there and pull out all the loose tension to neaten up the knot. Let's see, you want to dress it so it's a mirror image. Come on, there you go. So, what I'm doing here is I'm rotating this part forward, pulling a bit of slack, holding this here rotating these two lines back towards me and I have a simple overhand knot here to prevent this from slipping through although it shouldn't I just like it there there you have it this knot should slide up and down easily but if you pull the other end it will create tension so as long as you're holding something with weight in the bag it creates enough tension so hold the knot and pull to extend this is a really good cross-body sling length and if you want it around your neck or something pull it tight and there you have it I always keep this in my bag in case I'm out shopping or something and this little hook provides a convenient way to hook it to your belt loop or something now another thing to add on these knots uh, it doesn't really matter what knot you use here it could be a figure of eight a bowline uh, just an overhand loop that's fine for the prusik though I found that using a barrel knot 
would twist the main line every time I pull in and out slack this part would twist a little bit and after a while you get a twist in the whole line which was not nice so I found the process kind of works better haven't had much twisting issues there we have it enjoy